the leaders in Congress, and I'm pleased that there is bipartisan support for the actions that we're taking. Uh, America is always stronger when we stand united, and that unity sends a powerful message to the world that we will do what's necessary to defend our country. President Obama addressing the nation this morning regarding the Syrian airstrikes. Airstrikes the Pentagon is calling very successful this afternoon. In the past, the U.S. has conducted airstrikes against ISIS in Iraq, but never before against the militant group in Syria. Right now, we are joined by a very special guest, Director of Global Initiative on Civil Society and Conflict, Derek Harvey, former colonel in the yes. Army. You are also an advisor to General Petraeus, so you're very well versed in this subject. We heard President Obama telling us there are more than just one nation doing this. What does that mean and how important is it that we're a unified front? I think it's incredibly important to bring Arab nations, four Sunni Arab majority countries and one Shia majority country on board for the strike against the Islamic State. Importantly, however, this occurred the night before the president went to the United Nations and he's trying to build international support for the effort so the timing was immaculate. With all of that said though many people are saying here we go again America getting involved in something going on overseas but why was it important that we got involved what would have been the repercussions if we wouldn't have done anything? Well we are involved because the United States has its own security interests at stake and we also have partners in the region. Now, the strike last night against the Islamic State, importantly, was probably timed because of critical intelligence that provided information on this new group, the Khorasan Group, which is an Al-Qaeda affiliate that is leveraging or exploiting Western passport holders there and combining them with the expertise of the Al-Qaeda organization and the bomb makers from Yemen in order to penetrate our airline security. And that's the incredible thing, and that's why they're talking about that imminent threat to the United States. That was the most important thing about last night. You've been well involved with CINCOM. In, in your expert opinion, was this necessary? Absolutely necessar necessary if we're thinking about our own security and our friends and allies in the region. And we have a responsibility also because we are still a superpower. And as President Clinton said, we are an indispensable nation. I think the president is being very careful. He means what he says, and he's crafting a coalition for the long haul. And he's going to bring the American public along, and he's very careful about the no troops on the ground because he wants to make sure he can maintain American support and have the countries in the region have skin in the game because it has to be a combined effort. Professor Harvey, thank you so much for being with us. We My do appreciate pleasure. it. And he will also be back for ABC Action News at 5 as well, so please make sure you stay tuned for that.